Could you please on the dais? Respected delegates from India and abroad. Respected uh, invited guests, friends from media, my esteemed faculty colleagues, colleagues and staff, my dear students. I cannot express my happiness in words in welcoming you all to this first international conference being organized at Japuri Noida. And today I feel delighted, rather we all feel blessed that today is the day of Vasant Panchami, Goddess Saraswati bestowing her blessings, making each one of us wiser, knowledgeable and full of wisdom. Probably this is one of those rare coincidences which could have happened with this international conference. I am indeed thankful to all of you for gracing this occasion and personally for me it is a dream come true. Almost about a year and a half back, the first time that I threw this idea of holding the first international conference or any international conference in the campus and I shared with my faculty colleagues in one of the faculty council meetings, I could see certain apprehensions, I could see certain hesitation whether we will be able to organize such a conference of that scale and that nature. And then, I could motivate two of my colleagues, Dr. Shalini Shivasta and Dr. Shikha Bhatia, later on joined by Mr. Jitendra Sharma, and as a team, they took up this challenge, and today, after about 15 months of hard work and perseverance, we see this dream come true in form of the Cosmos 2016. I think this was a legacy we carried. Rather, I uh, most humbly take credit for that, that the legacy was started about four years back when I was at Jaipur campus. And first time, in the history of Jaipuria Institutes, and a similar international conference was organized and very successfully organized. And thereafter, almost it took us about three years to organize, three, three and a half years to organize or initiate the process for organizing another international conference. At this point, I must be thankful to the management, our chairman, Sri Sharaja Puriyaji, and our vice chairman, Sri Raja Puriyaji, for extending their full support and giving us the freedom to take initiative in organizing such events, and successfully taking the name of Jaipuria institutions across the length and breadth of the country and worldwide. Once we decided that the conference will be done, 
we were surrounded by a plethora of themes and topics which the businesses were facing and it was very difficult to choose a relevant topic, a topic which on which the researchers would have relished to bring out new ideas, new thoughts and their new research work which could have benefited the industry, could have benefited the academia and the society at large. And out of the humongous topics that we deliberated upon, we zeroed in on the role of social media and organizational sustainability. For knowledgeable people gathering like you and my young friends, I don't need to emphasize much on the impact of social media which it has created in the society, in our livelihood, as an individual, and also the way it has impacted the governance and the way the businesses are run in the organization. Sustainability of organizations have been every now and then challenged. There have been economic disruptions, commercial dis disruptions, there have been shocks in the society, there have been political turmoil, and all these, and there have been technological disruptions. There have been as recent as, in recent few years, the environmental impact on the business processes, on the way we are live, we live our day-to-day -day livelihood, it has a tremendous impact. And it continues to have a bigger amount of impact on the way the businesses are being done today. But then, here was a phenomenon which came out of certain technological platforms, technological innovations. <laughs> and I call it a phenomenon because it is just not a question of networking with people, creating friends, creating groups. It is this impact of social media is much more than that. And it is affecting the way we behave today as individuals cutting across generations, cutting across institutions, and especially when we talk about businesses and their longevity and sustainability, it has been challenged in a bigger way. The kind of information flow that has been impacted by the social media and the kind of accountability it has generated before the organizations. Soon, sooner or later, the bargaining power of is shifting towards or is shifting towards in the favor of the market amongst the different stakeholders. And the organizations need to take a very closer look at these impact. Our chairman just deliberated upon the kind of impact it had had on certain companies worldwide. Let me also emphasize that it would again be wrong to conclude that the social media, since it is about information, since it's about a platform which connects people, it impacts probably the marketing function or the communication part of organizations much. But probably it would be too naive to conclude 
or reach such a conclusion. It is impacting each and every functions of an organization today, be it human resource management, be it operations management, be it R&D, and research and development. It, I mean, the kind of impact it has made in the society and in the businesses that organizations are compelled to co-opt, to co to co compete, to co-create. This R and D today doesn't happen within the boundary walls of the organizations. R and D can any research, innovation, creativity through social media can happen and can jump in the front of the organizations from the remotest of the corners of the society. And the organization have to take be careful about that, have to take uh, such things into consideration. So, one can talk at length about the impact and considering the enormity of the topic in terms of its scope, its impact on the business organization and its sustainability, it was rightly felt that this should be the topic for this international conference and we are happy that our belief or our assessment was reaffirmed by the interest of the researchers both from academia and the industry. We received more than 140 abstracts on the subject covering various aspects of the topic. We would have received almost about 110 full papers which were sent to the experts for blind review. And based on the experts' <coughs> advice and feedback, finally, the editorial board or the advisory committee selected 57 relevant papers. And you must understand this, especially those who are presenting these papers and who are participating. I would like to congratulate those researchers for their good work. The kind of quality that we have tried to maintain as far the papers are concerned, it is beyond imagination. I'm also thankful to our partner institutions because while we were deliberating on the theme, we were firming up this conference and trying to give a, a true international character. We had friends like Eastern Illinois University, USA. We had CPIT New Zealand. We had SMAK Finland. And we had University of East London joining as associate partners in organizing this conference. And I am happy that we have also representatives from this institution attending this conference. I wish to convey my sincere thanks and congratulations to all those partnering institutions on this occasion. I must also thank all the delegates, all the researchers for contributing their papers and so actively participating in the process of not only submitting their papers but attending this two-day conference. And I'm glad to report that just now it has an international character where we have eight publications from abroad. We, in India itself, we have publications from institutions like I and Ahmedabad on West to institutions in Calcutta, Jammu in North, and Hyderabad in South. And that is the kind of spread that this and interest that this conference has been able to generate. And I must congratulate, put on record, the hard work done by the team, Dr. Shardi Shivastar, Dr. Shikha Bhatia, and Mr. Jitendra Sharma. Now the story didn't end here. 
we took up further challenges. And my dear friends, you will, glad, you will be glad to know that we decided that just presenting the paper would not be sufficient or it should not be a sufficient outcome of a conference like this. I think the rich repository which has been created needs to come out in a form which is useful for the researchers in future, for academia, as well as for the industry practitioners. And that is where we decided to publish an edited volume of all these publications. And we also decided at the same time that it might be challenging but let us attempt at bringing out this issue on the day of the conference when it is being inaugurated. Believe me, it took a long toll on all of us. But then, we are successful in bringing this volume today, which will be shortly released by one of the world's most reputed publishers, Bloomsbury. And this edited volume we could do it in about two months' time. And again, I would like to congratulate the editorial team. Also, the support that we received from the team of Bloomsbury. It would not be an exaggeration that this conference has an icing, it's icing on its cake with experts like Mr. Prahlad Thakkar, Mr. Sunit Tandon and Ms. Sonia, who were gracious enough to accept our invitation. And in the face of this invitation, I must thank Colonel Rajpal for an all his initiator. Uh, we chose, and very consciously chose these personalities who have a wide and rich experience on the subject and thought that they would be sharing this moment and their expertise, not only with the students, but all the delegates who are going to attend here. Let me tell you, Prabhupada, you would not be remembering. It was about a year, year and a half back when I met you first time at one of the conferences in Delhi, Lee Meridian. It was a pre-conference pre night where I am Raipur was conducting it, and you were present there. And that day, I had this dream to make it possible to invite you to this campus. And thank you, thank you for making this. Dream thank you. In spite of all your good issues, in spite of your temporary ill health and the struggle that you had to undergo by commuting while commuting from airport to this place, you have very heartedly you have accepted all this and you are here with us and we will be looking forward to your views. You need Mr. Sunit Tandon. I think as a generation, we grew and learned speaking English and we were told that we must listen to English news read by people like Mr. Sunit Tandon to improve your English. Those were our college days, our formative days. I they accept that many people may not recognize him because his the signature recognition point was clear and more. And of course, Sonia, uh, one of representing one of the international agencies which is strictly into strategizing around the social media and its challenges, helping brands, helping organizations to navigate through the challenges of social media. And again, I must thank her and of course the CEO of me for very kindly accepting our invitation and taking her time out to be present on this occasion. I think we look forward, each one of you, 
for a very enlightening uh, speeches and addresses. Last but not the least, I must congratulate all the faculty members, colleagues on staff, my dear students who have been an inspiration. A collective. This has been a work of a collective inspiration and collective work that we have been able to put together. And I would again once again thank Mr. Sri Sharad Japuriya ji and Shiva Japuriya ji for their uninstinted support in helping us organize such events, such conferences at regular interval. I wish the conference a great success and I hope that all the delegates, all the, audience, the invited guests will have a very fruitful two days of deliberation where I think, um, I understand we have more than dozen tracks where these papers are going to be presented. Thank you so much.